Long ago, two great generals led mankind in a terrible war. The dreaded Void Dragon threatened all of existence, and man and gods alike joined swords to stop it. The two generals were celebrated as the rulers of all, and even the gods paid them tribute. After the war was won, the Void Dragon remained a great threat to all existence. And so, upon the anvil of creation, the God Box was crafted. The Void was locked within, but still the question remained, who would guard the Box? The two generals offered themselves. They would give up life and glory to stand Sentinel. Transformed into immortal beings, they would be the Void's eternal guardians. They placed the Box and the Guardians in the First Garden, home of Astarte and of the world's most beautiful power, Source. For time immemorial, the Guardians stood by the God Box, no longer human in body or in mind, but duty personified. For millennia, the God Box was flanked by the two devoted Guardians. But Astarte's playmate, a creature called the Trife, turned her attention to the Forbidden Box. I may know a way to destroy what's inside hissed the scheming creature. Together, we can set the Guardians free. Open its lid, Astarte, and we can have a look together. Astarte trusted her friend and assented. She pitied the Guardians and welcomed a chance to free them. Let me help you, she whispered into the ear of one. I know your duty. But you both deserve a chance at freedom. Haven't you suffered enough of this chore? She asked the other. Look, your companion is free already. The Guardians, unaccustomed to such attention, started. She had planted a seed of curiosity within them, rekindled a desire that had, for eons, laying dormant. Slowly, they glanced at one another, and the trife's trap was sprung. The Guardians distracted, Astarte lifted the lid of the God Box. What she saw was nothingness. Astarte had called forth the Void Dragon, whose sole purpose was to undo all creation. Caught off guard and terrified, the Guardian's sworn protectors fled. But Astarte stood firm. She grabbed hold of the dragon and hurled it and herself into the reaches of the Void. Here she battled the dragon for all eternity. For his deception, the Trife was cast out of the first creation. He fell to rivel on a monstrous creature unworthy of the realm of the gods. Since that terrible day, Source has been tainted by the presence of the Void. A once beautiful power has become corrupted, and those attempting to wield it often go mad in the process. The Guardians had failed. Source was tainted, the Void was loosed, and all that stood between Rivalon and Annihilation was Astarte herself. Overcome by guilt, they hoped to undo their failure by undoing reality itself. And so, they ripped their threads from the tapestry of time, so becoming unknown to history and unknowing of themselves for all eternity.
as their threads fell to Rivalon like shooting stars. They hardened into crystals the people called Star Stone. Guardians, the Soul Forge, before it's too late.